Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about metamorphosis in insects. Metamorphosis in insects Introduction The word metamorphosis comes from the Greek meaning to transform. Metamorphosis is the process of transformation of an immature larval individual into a sexually mature reproductive adult. The transformed adult is completely different from the larva in size, structure and habit. This is the way insects grow and mature. Their life is divided into different phases for resting, growing and breeding. Humans grow slowly. You start a life as a child. And you grow a bit until you become an adult. When you are growing, your basic body plan doesn't change. Your whole life is one body. Insects grow in stages and the cycle of stages undergo metamorphosis. For many insects, the stages are so different from each other that you may not recognize them as the same animal. There are four types of metamorphosis in insects, namely no metamorphosis, complete metamorphosis, gradual metamorphosis and last one is incomplete metamorphosis. Most insects begin their life as eggs and lay eggs within a few days of being laid. But there are some insects that survive as eggs throughout the season before hatching. Insects that live in the egg need more time to grow and become strong enough to live outside the egg. These teeny insects will hatch from their eggs when the temperature becomes warm and comfortable and depending on the species will undergo any of the ever metamorphosis. The following are the descriptions of the types of metamorphosis. No metamorphosis this type of metamorphosis is also known as a metabolous development. In this type, the newly hatched animal resembles an adult except for differences in size and armature of the spine and setae. Incomplete metamorphosis This type of metamorphosis is also known as hemimetabolous development. In this type, the immature stages are called as nymphs or naiads. These immature stages are aquatic and they respire with the help of tracheal gills. Adults on the other hand are terrestrial and respire with the help of trache. These are some examples of no metamorphosis and incomplete metamorphosis. Gradual metamorphosis. This type of metamorphosis is also known as pyrometabolous development. In this type, newly hatched young are similar to adults in general body form but lack wings and external genital appendages. Young nymphs go through several nymphal stages through successive release to transform into adults. Complete metamorphosis. This type of metamorphosis is also known as holometabolous development. In this type, four metamorphic stages are included, namely egg, larva, pupa and adult. The larva becomes fully developed several times after hatching. It later becomes a pupa in a secreted case called as puparium. Inside the puparium, the pupa differentiates into the adult and then opens the case for exit. These are some examples of gradual metamorphosis and complete metamorphosis. Hormonal control of metamorphosis the role of hormones in the physiology of malting was first described by V.P. Wigglesworth in the 1930s. 
when an immature insect is sufficiently developed to require a large exoskeleton sensory input from the body then activates certain neurosecretory cells in the brain these neurons respond by secreting brain hormone bh that triggers the corpora cardiata to release prothoracicotropic hormone into the circulatory system this sudden release of prothoracicotropic hormone stimulates the prothoracic glands to secrete molting hormone prothoracic gland hormone these pgs are ecd steroids that trigger the molting process this is the figure of hormonal control of metamorphosis in insects pgh affects many cells throughout the body but its principal function is to stimulate a series of physiological events also known as apolysis apolysis leads to the synthesis of a new exoskeleton during this process the new exoskeleton forms as a soft wrinkled layer beneath the hard parts of the old exoskeleton the period of apolysis ranges from days to weeks depending on the species and its specific growth rate once the new exoskeleton is formed the insect is ready to seed off its old exoskeleton at this stage the insect body is covered by two layers of exoskeleton and it is called as forate at the end of the apolysis the egg steroid concentration drops and the neurosecretory cells in the ventral ganglia begin to secrete eclosin hormone this hormone triggers egg disease the physical process of seeding the old exoskeleton in addition increasing concentration of eclosin hormone stimulate other neurosecretory cells in the ventral ganglia to secrete bursicin a hormone that causes hardening and darkening of the integument due to the formation of the quinone cross linkages in the exocuticle that is sclerotization in immature insects juvenile hormone is secreted by the corpora alata before each molt this hormone inhibits genes that promote the development of adult characteristics keeping insects in their immature stage during the final larval stage the corpora alata become atrophied and stops producing juvenile hormones this releases the barrier on the development of the adult structures and causes the insect to molt into the adult at the approach of sexual maturity in the adult stage brain neurosecretory cells release a brain hormone that reactivates the corpora alata stimulating the renewed production of juvenile hormone in adult females the juvenile hormone stimulates the production of the yolk for the egg in adult males it stimulates the accessory glands to produce seminal fluid and proteins needed for spermatophore matter in the absence of normal juvenile hormone production adult remain sexually sterile this table contains the details of the hormones involved in the process of metamorphosis